Hey everybody, it's Dustin again with the WebEx Devices team. And today we're gonna to take a look at the WebEx Room Phone and um, we're, we're kind of doing this backwards. I've not done a Room Phone overview video kind of uh, talking about it. So um, the fact that I'm specifically going to the Room Phone and showing you how to use it into our Cisco CVI solution for Microsoft Teams meetings uh, is a little bit backwards, but uh, I am gonna demonstrate some of the capabilities of the device. Um, and I promise to go back at some point and do a, another uh, higher, more deep dive into the device itself. But this is something that is a new feature and it's been requested uh, to kind of see a, a how-to or, or what its capabilities are. So that's what we're doing today. And um, just at a real high level, the Room Phone itself is a fantastic device. Um, if you think about you know, conference rooms or huddle spaces, uh, you may have some that don't necessarily need full-blown uh, video conferencing devices in them. You don't need to do two-way video. Uh, for example. Um, but you have these rooms, you want to be able to have regular PSTN access. Um, and in a lot of these spaces, you may actually have displays in there already as well. Well, this is where the room phone is going to become very, very powerful and really elevate those rooms to a whole new level because not only do you get those basic conferencing capabilities uh, from a phone, but now you have the ability to do things like uh, reuse those displays or, or leverage them for digital signage when they're not being used for actively for sharing. Um, you'll be able to do things like wirelessly share to those devices because of the device in there. Still have the good old HDMI port if you want to be able to uh, you know, connect um, with a cable directly to be able to share content. And when you're using the WebEx Room Phone for both Microsoft uh, Teams and Cisco WebEx meetings, uh, you'll be able to um, join those calls and whenever someone shares content, everybody in that space will be able to see content on that full HD uh, display in that room instead of having to huddle around a laptop screen or look on their mobile device. So um, again, this is barely scratching the surface, but um, a lot of great features and capabilities to the WebEx Room Phone. But today we're specifically going to show off some of those uh, capabilities, but directly in a Microsoft Teams meeting. So we're gonna get to it. I'm gonna share my screen. We're gonna do something that we've done many times before on these videos, and we're gonna schedule a Microsoft Teams meeting uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to add in the WebEx Room Phone, and then I'm going to show you both the device itself as well as the display that would be in that room so you can kind of see what the experience would be like using a WebEx Room Phone. So let's go ahead and dive in. So I've got my screen here, um, and I'm going to go ahead and get a few things set up and ready. Um, got to get another system ready to go here. But uh, all I'm going to do here is um, double click, create a meeting. You guys have seen me do this um, many, many times before. Um, but uh, what we're going to do is we're going to call this uh, WebEx Room Phone Demo. And I'm actually going to invite my WebEx Room Phone. And I'm going to invite a few other uh, devices just so you can kind of see what the experience is going to be like. And a good old buddy of mine, uh, we're going to invite him into this meeting as well. So I'm going to go ahead and send this meeting out. And while I'm doing that, let me go ahead and show you uh, an actual uh, video, or sorry, a, a screenshot here of the phone itself. So this is the actual WebEx Room phone. I'm going to touch the screen here. And um, one of the things you'll notice is, <laughs> there's my one button to push. You'll notice that I invited this device. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, snooze this for a second. Um, but you'll see this nice touch interface, very, very similar to um, what you would see with a... Um, uh, a, uh, uh, any kind of touch uh, device, so like a Touch 10, for example, or the new Navigator, uh, very similar feel and interface. So you've got the call button here, you've got the ability to share. This device will um, allow you to use the HDMI or you can use the WebEx app, including the guest share using devices.webex.com. So very similar feel. The nice thing about this is if you're, if you're in a room and you have these devices and you have some rooms with WebEx uh, video devices, it's going to be the same process. So same look, same feel. You don't have to you know, teach your, user or your users how to use a different piece of software to be able to share to those rooms that don't have the video devices in them. Of course, we've got our trusty join WebEx button here. Uh, again, very similar. Put in the, the meeting ID, or you can um, use this to be able to join things like PMRs. So um, whatever's in your invite. But most importantly here is you'll see that we have the meetings tab and this is the one button to push. So you'll see there is the WebEx room phone demo that I have. Um, it's organized by me um, and I'm gonna be able to join that uh, meeting here in a second. Um, I'm actually gonna go ahead and join on a couple other devices. So bear with me here. Uh, I'm gonna make sure I'm mute so we don't have uh, a lot of uh, feedback. 
and I'm going to go ahead and change to this view. So here you're going to see that I have the um, room phone um, down here in the left, uh, bottom left hand corner. You're going to see this is the same view of the actual device itself. And what you're seeing behind you here is the um, display that that room would have. So this is what would be, um, again, very similar to a, a WebEx uh, a video device. You're going to see the time. You're going to see the upcoming meetings. You're going to see that this particular meeting is in progress. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get my other video device uh, joined in here. So let me um, bear with me. I'm going to have actually I'm going to go ahead and join. So let me go ahead and do the join process. Uh, hit the, there it goes. You'll see here I hit the join. This WebEx room phone demo is actually connecting. And you'll see that I'm actually in here and I have Thanos, which is my uh, other uh, uh, friend that is joined on my other PC here. He is actually in the meeting. Um, obviously, you're not seeing anything. There's no video being shared. There's no content being shared. So right now you're just seeing the actual participant that is in there. Now, let me go ahead and bring in another device and I'm going to manually dial over here with uh, one of my other devices here. So bear with me as I get them into this call. So now I've got Avenger cast. Whoop. Turn my audio down here so we don't have some feedback loops. Um, so now we've got uh, two devices in the call. So you're going to see that. Now, what I want to show you, though, is, is if someone um, is sharing content uh, into this meeting, and this is a Microsoft Teams CVI meeting. So I'm going to go ahead and go to my call here. Another thing to notice here, too, is that this device joined right on into the meeting. So um, because this is registered to my uh, Cisco Control Hub, um, this device is going to be treated as a trusted device. So I didn't have to uh, let it into the meeting. Um, however, if I was joining another meeting that was outside of my organization or I didn't have the trusted join set up, um, they still could be let in. They would just have to be let in by someone from that other tenant. So this is not restricted just to your own tenant. This will be uh, allowed to do to any uh, CVI solution. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to share my uh, screen so you can see what's going on here. And then there I've started sharing my screen. You're going to see up top that we've got AvengerCast, which is my room system behind me, Thanos, which is on a Microsoft Teams client. Um, and you'll see here that I'm sharing my desktop uh, into this call. Um, and um, of course, all of the, uh, the, the content that you're seeing here, me moving my mouse around. Um, if I brought up a, a browser window, you're going to see that all of that's being shared while I'm in that room. So some of the, uh, the big key uh, features here is that whenever I'm in my conference room and uh, I'm here, I have all my audio and video here on my uh, WebEx room phone, um, but all of my content is being shared uh, to that large display that could be in that room. Now, uh, one of the other cool things I want to show you here is that some of the features that you're already used to uh, in regards to the room phone will be things like uh, participant lists. So you're going to see here that I see that actually Thanos is the one sharing. Um, so let me go ahead and change my view here so you can see it a little bit bigger. Uh, you'll see that AvengerCast is in there. You see that Thanos is there. Um, Thanos is muted. Uh, uh, AvengerCast is not. Thanos is also sharing. Um, and then, of course, you see yourself there, the WebEx room phone. So all these features that you're already familiar with are going to be available. The last thing I want to show you here is, is that when I end the call, I still can actually go here to, to call and I could manually dial uh, into this meeting. Um, and um, I would just simply have to, you know, go there, um, make sure I hit my search. Sorry, I'm doing this right here. Oh, there it goes. Yep, yeah, sorry. Hit the wrong place. Um, and I could, you know, use my dial pad to be able to dial in that manual uh, URI and be able to get into uh, that meeting. So just like I would with a room device. So I don't have to use one button to push, but I do have those same capabilities there. So now I'm going to go back to this view again. You'll see here that um, it still shows me not in that call. No more meetings today, um, but I do have the ability to come back here to my meetings tab and join right back into that uh, meeting. Um, again, real quick overview. wanted to show you just exactly kind of what the joint experience would be like. Um, very similar to a room device, almost exactly the same. Uh, very powerful device. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this quick video. Uh, if you got any more questions or comments on it, please just comment down below. We'll answer them as best we can. And take a look at the links uh, describing more about the room phone and uh, look forward to a, uh, a new um, video coming pretty soon, uh, going more in depth to the details and capabilities of the WebEx room phone. Thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time.